Greetings, it's August 26th, things are winding down for the season, sitting in a camper up here in Wisconsin on our property that we acquired over the spring. Um, been doing a lot of improvements on that, had a specialist come in and give us a plan for it and just trying to implement that. I've been very busy um, with improvements for that property and a couple in South Dakota. I regret not being able to take you along or get videos or pictures of the improvements that I've made. I'll try to show you the bows as I'm hunting this year. Bought a new camera, so hopefully video recording will happen a little more this year. Got a couple pieces of public that I want to go scout. Um, that I've been doing some cyber scouting on just to keep the pressure off this. Uh, property that we bought in Wisconsin. So, without further ado, let's go over there and we'll do some scouting, some looking around, seeing what we can find. That's a big bed. There's two of them under there, or the same one with two bedrooms. I stepped across one back there too. Now there's a fairly bald spot, but I bet that's for this fall. Hairs in it. There's acorns in it. Shells. Couple nice shrubs here. This big uh, trailhead.
good trail headed right along here. Expecting there to be a scrape up here in a little ways. So we'll continue on. Just like I figured, based off topography, this is the hub. And there's a scrape right here. Just past that other street, there's a nice butt track here from here. This would be a good tree to hang up in. There's a nice path headed through here. It's a good path leading through there and up there. I'm closer than I'd like to be, but that's a good uh, multi trunk tree. There's one headed up this way too. This is definitely the the junction of all the the travel in this uh, thermal hub here. That's definitely a scrape. Big bed over here. There's lots to go. Don't hmm. throw them around here. This is August 27th, the next day after we did that scouting yesterday. Um, looked pretty good. That spot we were at last night, or yesterday and there's about two or three places that I would go to and try to hunt. Um, this here kind of comes, this is just a little area, it comes down into a point on the east side of it so with the northwest wind it might be good for um, bedding. We'll go see what it looks like. Must be a bed here. This is a bed, yeah. There's a hair in it. But deep down through the needle to see it, so it's probably a late season bed. There's another one back there with the northwest wind. Not that. We're back to a second spot that I wanted to check out. We're going to um, keep going up along this edge, and there's a hollow that runs north and south. Along here and expecting uh, scrapes and stuff in there. 
some bedding up here, so let's see what we find. There's a lot of browse back here from deer on these stinging nettles. They love to browse those. There's a lot back there. There's a big bed up here. dropping back there and found a nice bed here and it continues on the same elevation that's got to be a bed there overlooking the hollow down there I expect there's somewhere down there watching it waiting for a doe to come visit it looks like a late season spot a bed late season bed this is a nice bed here it's probably doe could be a buck though. Um, found uh, good areas down in that uh, hollow. There was big buck we followed through, pretty much marking the path that he uses in his beds. This is a nice bed here. going to do it for the scouting trip. Going to head back home tonight, today, later. Um, this place looked good. Over in that hollow, there was a um, nice buck that we followed. Uh, found a couple beds up here. One we showed you on this knoll here. So. That's a hunting possibility, so it gives me some possibilities if I uh, ever think I'm ever hunting that private piece that we got or whatever, if the wind doesn't, is out of the wrong direction. That's kind of why I wanted to go to these few private spots around here, so it gives me some confidence if I can't hunt the property, so we'll see you next time.